He is there. From the news, this is your boy Cox, and here is your word for today. Amen. And the word comes from Psalms chapter 139, verses 7 through 8. Amen. Let's go. And it says, Where can I flee from your presence? If I go up to the heavens, you are there. And if I make my bed in the depths, you are there. Amen. Come on, church. True enough, there are those that know this. But for those that don't know, I'm here to encourage you that he is there. And that's the title of today's word. Amen. See, I love the fact that the psalmist says, he says, you can't get too low. You can't fall down so far that God is not able to reach down and pick you up. There is somebody out there that's made a bad mistake. Somebody out there that's falling real low. And you thinking that the most high God can't reach down and pick you up. I'm here to tell you he can. And the word for today tells you that he can. Amen. See, the most high God doesn't hold your mistakes against you. Rest assured that you're not too far off course. Come on now. And I want you to be encouraged today, beloved, that no matter wherever you are in your life or whatever you've done, the Most High God is right there. Come on, church. He's right there with mercy and forgiveness and hope. Come on, church. Not with judgment, nor with condemnation. For the Most High God is there to free you from guilt to release you from the condemnation. Amen. He's breathing on your life in a new way with fresh anointing, fresh vision, and fresh passion. Come on, church. New doors are open to you. You can believe that what he started in your life, he's going to finish it. Amen. Now, don't write yourself off and don't you dare give up on or quit praying for your loved ones. There's no depth in which God won't stoop in order to reach you. Come on, church, to restore a family member or to bring your child back home. Amen. And may God bless the hearer 